Hello guys, and in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how we can connect our um, Sensor Pro Plus devices to AKC Pro server through a VPN connection. So you don't need to set up any port forwarding if you don't have a static IP address. Um, this is how you can form a connection between a remote site back to your main um, AKC Pro server installation and maintain that link um, regardless of if your um, IP address changes at the remote site. So this is useful, particularly if you have, say, um, our cellular modem in the SP+. Um, it's going to allow you to form a connection through the cell network back to AKC Pro Server, um, regardless of whether the connection goes up or down, every time the connection is available, it'll re-establish the link and update um, AKC Pro Server with the latest information from your device. So over here in AKC Pro Server, you can see that my um, remote SP2 Plus at the moment is unreachable. Um, and we can remove it from here, this from when I had it added earlier. And um, when we add it again now and reconnect, we should see it um, appear in our devices list there. So we come over to the remote SP2 Plus so this is the user interface of our SP2 Plus device. And the VPN is a licensed feature. So if you've already unlocked it, then you will find it here in the settings and VPN. And at the moment, the VPN is disabled and we are not connected. So we need to put in some information here. And this is the information that's going to tell the SP Plus how it can find its way back to your... Um, AKC Pro Server installation. So the VPN server address is going to be the address, uh, the location where we have our AKC Pro Server installed. So we'll use this address and um, then port number 204 and then you'll input your VPN Password. The VPN password is going to be set on APS itself, and I'll show you how to do that later. So once we've done this, we can save the information and enable the VPN. So when you enable the VPN, it will only take place after rebooting the device. So we'll hit yes there, and then we can go to maintenance, and we can do a system reboot. Once the system is rebooted, it'll come back up and the VPN service will be enabled and it will begin trying to connect to our AKC Pro server at the remote address that we inputted. So here, now you can see in our syslog, the VPN link is up. And if we go back to our VPN settings here, you can see our status is now connected and we've got an IP address in our private network between our device and AKC Pro Server. So now if we jump back over to AKC Pro Server, you'll see the remote SP2 Plus is now here in our list. So everything now which happens on our remote SP2 Plus is going to be viewable here in AKC Pro Server regardless of what happens. So even if the um, network was to go down at our SP2 Plus, or if the IP address is to change because you're on a dynamic IP address, it doesn't matter. The IP address of the SP2 Plus is always going to remain this 192.168.44.4, and it's visible here in our AKC Pro Server installation. And then you can drag these um, sensors across onto our desktops just like any others. So our host status here uh, shows that the device is currently reachable. So if the network was to go down on our remote SP2+, Plus, then this would change to unreachable, and you could get an alert. So you would know when the connection between your remote sites and your main AKC Pro server installation has gone down. Um, so now the device just behaves like any other AKCP device in our server software. So I hope that helps and um, shows how easy it is to actually set up and use um, the VPN service 
Um, it's a license feature, like I said. So uh, if you're interested in using this, you just need to email sales at akcp.com with the MAC address of your SP2 Plus device. And then we can send you an unlock code in order to enable the VPN service. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.